guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the modal class and then afterwards how to draw a histogram. So in this exam question, we're given a frequency table and it tells us how long it takes students to get to school. So it just means that seven students take between zero and 10 minutes to get to school, 19 students take between 10 and 15 minutes to get to school and so on. Okay, so for the first part A, it asks for the modal class. Modal just means the same as mode, so the most frequent. Okay, so the one that's the most frequent is the one with the highest frequency. So here's the highest frequency. 19 is the largest number out of these. Okay, so the modal class is this one. Okay, most of the students take between 10 and 15 minutes to get to school. So histograms, they're similar to bar charts, however, the widths of the bars can change. Also, the area of a bar represents frequency. So, because all the bars are either rectangles or squares, and to work out the area, you would normally multiply the base by the height, what you would do in this question to work out the frequency is multiply time, because that's the base, by the height, which is frequency density. So if we look at the bar that they've drawn here, you would multiply time, so 10, by the height, which is 0 0.7, which gives you 7, which is indeed the frequency. Okay, so it works. Now, here I've written down an equation connecting time, frequency, and frequency density. Remember I just said the base is time and the height is frequency density. So base times height gives you the area of the rectangle, which is frequency. If we were to rearrange that equation to equal frequency density because that's what we need to work out for all of these. We need to work out the heights, which is the frequency density, before we can draw the bars. You need to divide by time. Okay, so you're just rearranging that equation. So if we divide by time, we get frequency divided by time and that is how you calculate frequency density in general. Okay, so let's apply that to these up here. If I take the frequency for this one, 19, and divide it by time, I have to divide by 5, because the class width is 5. Can you see the difference between these numbers, 10 and 15? It's 5. So if we divide 19 by 5, we get 3.8. Okay, so that's the first frequency density. That's the height of this bar. So you can draw that onto the diagram. So just be careful that you do the width correctly as well as the height. The width of this bar goes from 10 to 15. So 10 is here and 15 is obviously halfway between 10 and 20. And you need to make sure the height of the bar goes all the way up to 3.8. Okay, you'll be able to do it more accurately or see it properly on that exam question I showed you at the start of the video. So 3.8 is just eight little squares above three. Okay, so that's the first bar. Now let's look at the second part. Remember to work out the height of the bar, the frequency density, you take the frequency and you divide by time or the class width. So 16 divided by five again, because the difference between these numbers is five. 16 divided by five is 3.2. Okay, so there's the new height. So this time the bar goes from 15 to 20. Okay, so another width of 5. And it goes up to 3.2. Obviously in an exam you would use a ruler and you'd have an accurate grid in which to draw these bars. Okay, mine's a little bit messy there. For the last one, the frequency is 8. And the class width this time is 20. Okay, the difference between these numbers is 20. So we divide by 20. And 8 divided by 20 is 0 0.4. OK, so there's the last height. And this width of the bar goes from 20 to 40. 0 0.4 is just four little squares upwards. And there's a histogram.